little one, you mustn't wake me in such a manner. I almost thought... I thought... I thought you were some kind of bug or spider that had gotten onto my face. If I had so much as taken a swipe at you with my hand, I could have killed you. I hope you realize that. Especially if my... If my... Never mind. Just don't do that again, all right? I said, never mind, little one. What time is it, anyway? Yes, I am attempting to change the subject. Are you? Why do I ask? Well, little one, I asked you what time it is. It still seems rather dark to me. What time did you wake me up? I see. And would you care to explain why you woke me up at two in the morning? I won't be mad unless it's an extremely pathetic reason. You were hungry. I see. When's the last time you ate, little one? <laughs> Three days ago? Oh. Oh, you poor thing. And, given your size, and the size of everything around you, I take it you have to work a lot harder to get places, don't you? I thought as much. Here, let me see if I have anything. Will this do? I know it isn't much, but it's all I have for now, and I doubt I could find any food at this hour. Are you certain? Really, it wouldn't be any trouble to look for something else. I just don't know how successful I would be. Very well, if you're sure. Oh, here, let me get the wrapper for you at least. There you are. Enjoy. No, no, I'm not hungry. Besides, it's far too early in the morning for me to be eating anything. Do you... Does your kind, that is, usually wake up this early? You have to. Why's that? Ah, right. If you're exposed in any way, even if you're hiding in a makeshift shelter, predators can easily attack you. That makes sense. And, given your size... There are so, so many predators that could easily snap you up. It's definitely wise of you to wake up early. You seem a bit distraught, little one. Did I... Did I say something that brought back bad memories, or... What is it, then? You'd rather not speak of it, or you think that I'll take it as something silly? The latter. I see. I'll make a deal with you, little one. If you tell me what I said wrong and what it made you think of, I'll tell you what I was going to say earlier, all right? Yes, I promise. I'm not the kind of person who breaks promises. Trust me. I will uphold my end of the bargain, just as you will yours. Little one, if you can't trust me with this, how are you going to trust me to secure your family? You don't have a response for that now, do you? Go on, tell me. I promise I won't judge you or laugh at you. Oh. Oh, I see. You were... disturbed by my mentioning of predators? Did I, perhaps, remind you of something from your past? Really? What is it, then? Oh. Oh, I see. 
I mentioned your size and... And it made you feel weak? My sincere apologies, little one. I'm sorry. My sincere apologies. I... I had no idea that you were sensitive about things like that. After all, it is a bit obvious, especially now that you and I are so close to one another. It's glaringly apparent that, well, there is a significant size difference. After all, you appear to only be the size of my index finger, whereas I am over five feet tall. Really? You think that you could climb me like a tree? Well, I have no doubt about that, although my skin is much smoother than tree bark, so I doubt you'd find many footholds or grips, but that's beside the point. I... I do sincerely apologize for making you feel weak. And if calling you little one bothers you, I can find something else to call you. It doesn't bother you. Why is that? You don't see it as demeaning. How do you view it, then? I'm curious. Endearing? I was... expecting any answer except for that. Why exactly do you find it endearing? Ah, right. It sounds like a nickname given to a child by a parent, or a pet by an owner. It makes it seem like I care about you? Well, I... I can't say that I hate you. However, we've only known each other for so long, a few hours now, and even then... That amount of time that I've known you, most of it I've spent sleeping, and I hope that you are doing the same. Little one, if we are going to be working together, you definitely need to adjust to a different schedule. Yes, yes, I know that old habits are difficult to break, however, once we get into the more difficult phases of our operation... It's going to be incredibly rare for you to have a peaceful night of rest. Trust me, you'll want to get all the sleep that you can, whenever you can. I know, I know. It's... it's an instinct of yours. You wake up in an hour or two, perhaps even minutes, but... You don't have to do that anymore. You're safe with me. I assure you of this. I have lost everyone I ever cared about. I'm not going to lose you. As I said, I don't exactly know if I care about you in the way that you're implying. I have sympathy for you. I can certainly empathize with you. However, once again, I barely know you. Although, you aren't... Entirely unlikable, I will say that much. Indeed, I did seem rather annoyed with you before, didn't I? That was merely because, well, first of all, you attempted to steal from me without explaining yourself. Second, you kept asking questions when I shut you down. And let's not forget that you woke me up at two in the morning by running across my face. I know, I know. I'm not mad that you woke me up or that you were hungry. I'm... I'm just worried, all right? That was incredibly reckless, especially given my size, and... Well... As I promised you... I... I have severe arachnophobia as a result of my experiences with the Phantom Troop. You see, 
Every member of the Phantom Troop has a spider tattooed somewhere on their body. And, well, whenever I see spiders of any kind, even if they have absolutely no association with the Phantom Troop whatsoever, my mind immediately goes to that tattoo. And because of the burning hatred I feel, my eyes turn scarlet and I lose all control over myself. Just like I did hours ago when I mentioned them to you. Oh dear. They... They've gone scarlet again. My apologies, little one. I... I hate that I continue to show this side of myself to you. Really, I... I don't want you to fear me. I don't want you to view me as some kind of monster or as someone you always have to walk on eggshells around. I... I am a bit more stable than I always seem. However, sometimes it seems that even the smallest things can send me into a fit of rage. For instance, spiders. That's why I was worried about you when I almost raised my hand and swiped you off of my face. It's all right. It's all right. You don't have to apologize. I didn't mention it before, and you were hungry. You weren't thinking clearly. Nobody does when they're hungry. But you've eaten now, and you're aware of my fears and tendencies. So, in the future, just go up to my ear and yell as loudly as you need to, all right? Please refrain from pulling on my earring. I... I imagine that would hurt quite a bit, especially given your apparent strength. Well, you said that you could probably climb me like a tree. I imagine that doing so has built up quite a bit of muscle in those little arms of yours. If you were to pull on my earring, I have a feeling either it would break, or you would tear my earlobe off. Either way, I'd really prefer it if you would yell to wake me up as opposed to harming me. Thank you, little one. I appreciate that. No. No. You know what? At this point, I've been awake far too long, and I doubt that I'd be able to get back to sleep. Oh, really? You think you can help me with that? And what makes you so confident all of a sudden, little one? Oh, it's an old family trick? All right, then, what is it? You're going to sing me a lullaby. I... I fail to see how that would work, but I won't discourage you. Very well, if you think that'll work, then go right ahead. Lie down? Well, I suppose that would make sense. After all, I'm supposed to be going to sleep, so I'd hate to fall asleep sitting up or standing up. Is that all right, little one? Tuck my hair behind my ear. That's an odd request, but all right. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Oh, you're getting closer to my ear so that I can hear you better. That's... that's very clever of you. Just try not to move around, all right? If I do fall asleep, I might mistake you for a spider. You'll be careful? Good, good. Now, what exactly... That's... That is... A rather beautiful song. Where did you learn this? Your family taught it to you? 
Funny. I suppose it isn't really funny, it's just rather odd. It sounds quite similar to the lullaby my mother used to sing to me. In fact, it sounds just like it. Note for note. 